Hey guys, so today we're going to practice our ib nib inking with a character and I've got a dual camera setup going on today so hopefully that'll give you guys a better view and we are working in our identic notebook that was sent in our Art Snacks Inktober using the Kuratake Sumi ink that was um, also sent. The Kuratake nib holder and some dinky dips. Oh, and a Kuritake, um Seiji nib. So pretty much everything was sent in the Inktober box except for my dinky dips. And right now, I'm just going to focus on doing an open line art, no shading. And I'm going to be kind of quiet because it is harder for me to ink and concentrate while I'm talking since I use my breathing to help me pull my strokes. I'm sure for many of you more advanced inkers, watching me, let's see if I can zoom in, nope. watching me carefully scratch away at the surface, filling in large black fills is probably painful for you. Most of us would grab a brush or even a brush pen to do that. Um, the reason I'm doing it the laborious, painful to watch way is I want to demonstrate that this pen is just not suitable for that sort of inking. And sometimes <laughs> the best way to demonstrate something like that is to do it the painful way. Now, there are nibs that are better suited for these sort of fills. Heck, even lettering nibs can be okay for fills if carefully used because they have that uh, sort of spoon or flat surface. This has a sharp point. It's got almost a needle point. In fact, the Art Snacks packaging recommended that we be careful when handling it. Well, I've never cut myself on, an, well, I've stepped on nibs and that hurt, but I've never cut myself just handling a nib. Um, but I do think it is a warning worth bearing in mind for your paper surface. And nibs are not a one-size-fits-all product. There are different types of nibs for different purposes. Different artists have different preferences. As I stated in that video where I was inking a cat portrait, 
Um, uh, when it comes to nibs, I enjoy tank nibs and I enjoy G nibs. I never really use spoon nibs a whole lot. And you probably don't want to be doing fills with a spoon nib anyway. You probably want to do cross hatching with a spoon nib. And um, to sort of clarify, uh, this nib here, the nib sent by Art Snacks, would be classified as a spoon nib. posted that cat picture to my Instagram, the illustration I did to first demonstrate the paper and the nibs, and uh, I used the Denic hashtag and they asked me what I thought of the paper. And I haven't been able to respond because I hate the paper. I think it is terrible for for nib inking at least it is just not the right kind of paper at all it gets caught up in my nib and i'm debating whether i want to tell that to them on my instagram in general, I kind of avoid art supply review opinions on the Instagram unless I really like something. I wish Art Snacks had sent paper that was actually designed for inking. It didn't really seem like that second camera was doing a whole lot for you guys, so I went ahead and cut it. Hopefully you were able, if it did show anything, you were able to see um, sort of what I've been talking about with the nib. It's the sort of thing that is hard to see unless you're on top of it, unless you're the one inking. Alright guys, so now I need to let this dry for 24 hours before I can erase it. Um, 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me while we inked a character using the Seiji nib sent in my ink Art Snacks Inktober on the Denik paper also sent in my Art Snacks Inktober. Um, having inked two pieces, I can say that I really do not enjoy using the nib that they sent on the paper that they sent. Um, I do have other nibs in my supply, so if you guys are interested in more inking videos or inking with the nib videos, you need to stay tuned to this channel So, um, because I will be posting more of that to hopefully inspire you guys for your own Inktober adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing for lots more art tutorial, art supply goodness. I post at least once a week, usually twice a week, sometimes even more often than that. Um, so make sure you check back often. If you really, really like art supplies, why don't you head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. I update there at least twice a week as well. And there's seven years of art supply goodness, reviews, tutorials, tips, tricks, you, you name it, it might be up there. Um, especially if you're interested in comics, comic craft, inking, that kind of stuff. A lot of that up on the blog. So I recommend you check it out. If you want to help make more videos like this possible, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup for information on how to join the, the natosoup community, how to become one of my art nerds. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of September and a great Inktober. I can't wait to see what you guys have produced. I'll see you guys later. Bye.